Topic of this video presentation is Karate Giants, Basai Dai and Gion Kata. This is a part one of two part series in which Basai Dai will be examined. It is presented from the coach's point of view. In numerous statements, Master Frankoshi points out that original karate had kata at the core of its practice and philosophy. Therefore, kata was and it is the heart and soul of the traditional karate. On the base of origin and technical characteristics, kata may be divided in two groups, in shori and shorei group, and listing of uh, kata in each group is presented here. We can see that Basai Tai from this division is a part of the Shorin group of Kata. Now technical components of Shorin group of Kata, again according to Master Funakoshi, the Shorin Kata got their names because these Kata come from the Shorin Yu School of Karate in Okinawa. Master Funakoshi described the Shorin Kata as very light and quick with a rapid uh, motion to the front and back, which may be linked to the sweeping fighting of the falcons. What a beautiful description. The role of this kata in karate training may be summarized as a follow. Shorin kata need to be practiced in order a student may develop multi-directional quickness of body shifting and lightning speed of techniques. Techniques have to be very fast. Shorin cutters are designed in order that small statue individuals and karate practitioner that possess great speed may display the best physical and technical attributes. Embusen in kata is a line of footsteps, footprints of kata. Each kata has its specific embusen. The position of the camera and the shape of embusen in respect to the starting uh, position from which the kata is executed are presented for the front and side view for each move of the kata in, in the book. In Basai Dai, all the attacking techniques, punch, kick and strike, are overshadowed by presence of aggressive body shifting and blocking techniques which are going in every direction. As the kata is progressing, the impression that one receives is a penetrating a fortress, and that is a descriptive name for Basai Dai. That will come alive in performance of capable and well-skilled athlete. Better appreciation for the total beauty of Basai Dai may be obtained by examining six major characteristics of the kata. One, entire body is a weapon. Number two, dynamics of hand techniques. Number three, dynamics of body shifting. Number four, kicking techniques with the ki. Number five, blocking techniques with the ki. And number six, dynamics of trunk rotation. Evident from this sixth point is that Basai Dai's has a lot to offer on the technical level, that means for athlete. But however, athlete must express all this quality of Basai Dai. On aesthetic level, it is for the spectators. Spectators should see all of these components. If not, then athlete is not doing what athlete should do. Number one, entire body is a weapon. Already in move number one, which is a cross-leg stance combined with the right 
augmented mid-level outside block, we can see the fast progression forward in the essence of the movement which really symbolized the name Basaidai to penetrate fortress. The concept that the whole body is a weapon is attested with this first move. This means by beginning, starting kata properly, we begin to express what kata is. Dynamics of hand techniques uh, I uh, displayed in move number five, which is the right front stance and non reverse outside forearm block. In order for the block to have sufficient impact power, the action of the trunk muscle, trunk rotation, and the movement of the blocking arm must all end together. Dynamics of body shifting can be seen in move number 14, where left back stance in combination with the right non-reverse uh, sword hand blocks is displayed. It is possible that an imaginary opponent may escape one of the contra-attack and that another contra-attack needs to follow it. A back stance is used in uh, delivering the counter-attack in form of the block while moving in forward direction. Number four, kick with the ki. That's, this is seen in move number 19. Left one-legged stance in combination with the right cutting kick and with the ki. The cutting kick um, here need to, uh, is a fumikiri gei and must be executed below the knee level. Very often athletes try to, especially beginner, try to make a good impression and they kick very high. Above knee, that is already Yokogeri. Both arms are pulled upward and the fists are held to the body, close to the body. The Fumikiri Geri is executed at its maximum level, that means with the Kiai. Black with the Kiai is seen in move number 42. Right back stance in combination with left sword hand block with the Kiai. Basaida is one of the few kata where the last technique is executed with the Kiai. Step forward into the back stance and execute the blocking techniques with a power and speed that is worthy of Kiai. Dynamics of trunk rotation can be seen uh, in moves from uh, number 24 to number 26. Attacking techniques are overshadowed by aggressive trunk rotation in combination with the body shifting, striking and blocking techniques which are going in every direction, uh, as can be seen again here in move 24 to 26. Now, basic application, which in Japanese is called Bunkai, and Bunkai is a way how moves from the kata, and in this particular case will be Basai Dai Kata, how they may be used for the self-defense. The problem with dealing with the physical assault has faced mankind since the beginning of recorded history. That made the skill of self-defense a very valuable tool. The first move in Basai Dai may be reason for a descriptive name, as we said before, to penetrate fortress. Body here is a load forward to meet the attack with augmented forearm block. Bunkai is presented here is just one of the possible way to execute contra-attack. Now, here we end with the contra-attack. The most basic use of Bunkai for double outward forearm block is shown here in move two and three. Now, here we don't have uh, punching or kicking techniques to end because arms are faster than a trunk rotation 
trunk need to pick up in explosive power to end its rotation together with the blocking technique. Is it possible to conclude that uh, Bunkai shown in move 2 and 3 has limited cell defense application because there is no counterattack with a punch, strike or kick to end aggression. Can it also be concluded that Bunkai presented here is a just good training drill for the Soto Udeuke? Now, neither of those can be proper for conclusion. Why? Because in traditional karate there should be no difference between the impact power of block, strike, or kick or punch in the ability to stop aggression. All of them should have the same ability. And this is uh, verified by each of these techniques being executed with the Kiai in some of the kata. Finally, the author's concept is that the punch, kick and strike these are techniques used to attack opponent's head, chest and abdomen. The blocks are used to attack techniques to stop the opponent's uh, punching or kicking techniques. In this concept, stopping an opponent's incoming punch with a block should be as an effective form of counterattack as if punch, kick, or strike was used instead of block. Power of techniques is equal. In reviewing the existing literature, one will find many statements which point out that Basai Dai is something very unique, both as far as its beauty to watch, obviously by spectators, as well as the kata's technical challenges and messages delivered with the execution of each technique by athlete. To explain this, the author would like to suggest two possibilities. Possibility one, it is possible that many kata come from different karate style, and in narrowing down what to include in modern sports karate, only the best kata survive, regardless of style of origin, and therefore, it is not it is surprising that each of the kata receive such a high mark and praises. Number two, another possible explanation for this uh, complimentary writing about modern day kata is that throughout uh, time, changes are made in traditional kata, and an enrichment of the kata was made by individuals such as Master Funakoshi, making new kata better than the original. To display dynamics of action and proper rhythm uh, of move uh, can be seen in move number 18 to 37, and these are just selected parts of the kata. Time of pose is labeled by one second. We just cannot label less than a second. So you have a technique, you have a pose, you execute uh, the technique with the ki, follow immediately with another technique, pose, and so on. You can see that dynamics of Basai Dai is displayed here. Athlete Mars possess speed and explosive power to demonstrate in one second components of move 28 to 29. That's not such an easy to keep a balance, to execute that, to have enough time to end each of the techniques, pick up the speed and deliver a message. This is Basai Dai. Conclusion, part one. Shorin Kata are designed in order that smaller statue and fast character practitioner may display its best physical and technical attributes. That's one thing. Another thing in conclusion part two, we can say that executing Shorin Kata in competition 
athletes must demonstrate multi-directional quickness of the body shifting and enormous lightning speed of techniques. If this is not done, the athletes fail to express the basic value of Shorin Kata. Material presented here come from the book Karate Giants, Basai Dai and Gion Kata, Volume 1. This presentation is just one single drop of water in the ocean of the knowledge of karate. Us!